So I want to welcome everybody watching. My name is Colette Curtis, and we're practicing a Silver Sneakers chair yoga class. So as we get started, I want the feet flat on the floor. Take a look at those toes. In your shoes, out of your shoes, it doesn't matter. I want the center of your knee and second toe and your foot lined up, pointing forward. The knees straight out from the hips. Go ahead, lean back, relax. Let's take the shoulders up, push them back and down. Hands just right on your lap. Relax the arms. If you would like, go ahead and close the lids of your eyes. If you feel uncomfortable with your eyes closed, you can keep them about nine tenths open and find something on the ground just to stare at. We seal the lips, take the air in through the nose out through the nose. So it might have a few breaths to get used to that nose breathing. So take a few moments here. Now mindfully expand the belly as you inhale. Feel that diaphragm come out from the ribs and expand through the belly. I want you to take two more breaths here. And on your next exhalation, I want you to open up your mouth and pretend you're fogging up a mirror. Sigh. So you notice your vocal cords come together. Now keep the lips sealed. Push your vocal cords together to pull air in and push air out. Creating now an audible breath. This audible breath is going to keep you mindful of your breath for the whole class. Your sense of hearing now has something to pay attention to. So keeping the eyes closed, I want you just to take your right foot, extend it forward and point those toes. And then I want you to inhale, flex that foot. Spread those toes apart. And then exhale, go ahead and point those toes. Inhale, we pull the toes back. Exhale, we point the toes. Bring our mind right down onto the feet right away. Push through the heel and point the toe. Three more breaths just like that. If it's too much to hold your leg up, you can keep it real close to the ground here. As you take your last inhale and exhale, point those toes. Now lower the leg to the floor, slide it back in gently. We're going to take the left leg, slide it out high as you'd like. You're going to inhale, pull those toes back, spread them apart, and then exhale, bring the toes together and point the toe. Come back to listening to yourself breathe. Pushing through the heel as you inhale. Pushing through the toes as you exhale. Flow with your breath. We call this breath linked with movement. How are those toes coming apart? It takes a while for it to become natural. Let's take three more breaths just like that. All right, let's go ahead and lower that toe to the ground. Slide it back. Now I'm going to have you take your sit bones, wiggle them to the edge of your chair for me. Place those feet flat on the ground once again. Lining the center of your knee with the second toe. This time making sure the knee joint is directly over the ankle joint. That's how we stay safe. We line up the joints. Hands are going to be hanging down at your sides now. Now as we inhale, just like we did with the feet, as we inhale, we're going to spread those fingers apart. And as we exhale, we're going to let them relax. We're just going to take three breaths like that. You can keep your eyes closed. Have them open. If you have them open, please don't stare up at me. I'd like you to stare down at the floor in front of you. We call this a drishti, 
a gazeless gaze, that position of the eyes, so your neck stays nice and safe. Now inhale, spread those fingers, exhale, let it relax. Now float those hands up to about the height of your shoulders, and then exhale, float them back down. Three more like that. Spread those fingers, let everything relax back down. Don't forget to pay attention to the sound your breath makes. This time, guys, we're going to go all the way up. Inhale. And then let's look up and look at our thumbs come together. And then exhale. Circle your hands right back down. So that's a big movement. That's too much for your shoulders. Just go halfway up. Three more breaths just like that. Using only one arm if you have any injuries or are recovering in the other arm. Now, how are you going to feel leaving your arms up in the air? As you do, let's make sure those shoulders don't creep up. Push your shoulders down your back. And all we're going to do now is take our left hand and bring it straight down. We're going to inhale that right hand up. And you can grab the chair with your left hand to support yourself if you'd like. Inhale those right fingertips high to the sky. And exhale. We're just going to take a gentle side bend. I want you to hold here for three breaths. And where are your eyes going to look? Straight up to the sky here. I want you to look up. I want your right arm as close to your right ear as possible. Take one more breath. And then on an inhale now, we're going to lift those fingertips high to the sky. Stretch on out. And exhale, circle that arm right back down. And here you can grab a hold of the chair. Or just let your arm hang as we inhale that left, those left fingertips right up to the sky. And inhale, reach them up. Get nice and long and exhale. Let's lean on over to the right here. Your arm is hanging as close to your ear as possible. Your eyes are up at the ceiling. And once again, come back to the breath. Listen to yourself breathe. One more exhale. And then inhale, we float the fingertips up. Exhale, circle right back down. Inhale, exhale, hands on the lap, eyes closed. Let's just check in with the shoulders here. Notice the circulation. So as we get halfway through these 10 breaths, on the last five exhales, I want you to start lifting your pelvic floor up and pulling your pubic bone in. In yoga, we call these bandhas. These are energetic blocks. That pelvic floor coming up, that's Mula Bandha. With that pubic bone coming in, that's Uddiyana Bandha. In English, we have our root lock and our flying up lock. So one of those locks is going to allow you to feel rooted in. So let's go ahead and stand on up. So go ahead, come to standing. You're going to come behind your chair here. So you can have your chair to hang on to in case you need it for balance. And then as we stand, and we have the body weight right on these feet here, right feet directly underneath the hips. How that train tracking our feet. We're going to place our fingertips on the chair for balance and close our eyes here. Let's look down at our feet. Make sure the center of our knee and second toe are lined up. So we're not pigeon-toed, or I think we call that duck foot. Everything is facing forward. And then we're going to take our eyes off the ground, and we're just going to look down our nose at the floor in front of us. Fingertips on the chair. Feel those feet underneath you. Feel the weight in the heels, the weight in the balls of the feet. And then see if you can close your eyes. And then see if you could just bring your fingertips to the chair. Listen to that inhale. Listen to our, that exhale. And if you start swaying, I want you to lift that pelvic floor up. Feel that, those feet root in. Lock you in place. 
And then I want you to pull that pubic bone in and feel yourself become a little bit lighter, a little bit more weightless, and then see if you can take your hands off the chair. Remember, it's there to hang on to if you feel dizzy, or you can just open your eyes and stare at the ground. Take three more breaths. Inhale, I want you to lift the heels up, lift the chest and look up. Exhale, lower your heels but keep the chest lifted and walk your feet back for our silver sneakers downward dog. So here, the back is flat, the head drops down, ears are right at the sides of your arms, you're making an L position, keep those knees bent, just take two more breaths. Lengthen your spine, and on your next inhale, pick up your face. Walk your feet forward. We'll finish this sun salutation up by inhaling those hands up overhead. And we're going to exhale, bring our hands right in front of our heart. And this is where we're going to begin our next sun salutation. Drop and reach on an inhale. Exhale the elbows in the back pocket. Good. Inhale those hands up. Exhale, fingertips to the chair. Inhale, lift your chin, chest, heels. Exhale, drop the heels, walk it back for downward dog. We're going to stay here three breaths. Ears between your arms. And this time on an inhale, you're going to pick up your face. Take your right foot, take a big step forward, bend that right knee right over the ankle. And so you may be leaning forward. I want you to roll your left heel flat, and these shoulders, if they're leaning forward and you got all the weight on that front leg, I want you to push your shoulders away right over your hip. So now we get a nice stretch in that back leg. So if it's too much, you can shorten your stance. If you can't take your hands away for balance, you could open up your feet a little bit wider. So we got some options. If you need to hang on to the chair, I want you to hang on with the leg that's forward. If you can let go, make sure your arms drop down. And we're going to try that elbows in the back pocket here. Inhale, bring those hands up. And exhale, elbows in the back pocket. So we're looking up. The chest is lifted. We don't throw our head back. Perfect. Balancing the weight between both feet here, lifting the chest. Listen to yourself breathe. One more breath. And we're going to inhale those hands up. Exhale the fingertips to the chair. Step that right foot back. Come back to down dog. Take three breaths. On your next inhale, pick up your face, step that left foot forward, bend that left knee, that right foot rolls flat. Remember, you want your shoulders over your hips, so you can hang on to the chair if you need to for balance, and just practice this with one arm, or if you can find your balance here, drop both arms and inhale, reach them up, exhale, elbows in back pocket, three breaths. Push into that back heel, get that stretch in the front of that back leg here. Inhale those hands up. Exhale, fingertips to the chair. Step that left foot back for your silver sneakers, downward dog, three breaths. Inhale, pick up your face. Exhale, step those feet forward. Great, let's go ahead and notice the strength. Shake out any tension you created from those warrior one poses. So <clears throat> in yoga, we call this asana. The word means steady seat. So the steady seat you recognize through your breath. If your breath is not steady, you don't have that steady seat. So we're going to try another warrior here. Warrior two. So once again, the feet start wide, just like our triangle. And we're going to take our right toes, turn them out. And this time we're going to bend the right leg. 
So warrior one is stretching the back hip. This time we're opening up through both hips here. So your hips are going to be facing this chair. Like if you had headlights on your hip bones, they're going to be lighting up the back of the chair here. And the chair's here for you to hang on to. If the knee is bothering you, of course you can straighten the leg a little bit more. Don't ever have tension in your knee holding your warrior. You could always adjust your posture. So for balance, to take your hand off the chair, lift your pelvic floor up as you exhale. And now we're going to float the arms up. First, start with your left arm and then your right arm. And then you're going to look over your right middle finger. Now take your shoulders, drop them down your back. Three breaths here. On an inhale, we straighten that left leg. Feel free to drop your arms, hang onto the chair if you need to. Bring your left toes forward, walk these feet in, shake everything out. Notice the difference between the sides. We open up the feet again, toes forward, left toe turns out. We bend the left knee. Make sure that knee is right over the ankle. Center of your knee, second toe. So those alignments are pretty important. See if you can take your hands off the chair. Hips, headlights are lighting up the back of the chair on your hip bones. We're going to float that right arm up parallel to the ground. Left arm floats up. Look past the middle fingers and slide your shoulder blades down your back. Go ahead, listen to yourself. Breathe. Inhale, reach those hands out. Exhale, drop them down. Let's straighten the leg, turn the toes forward. Get the feet right underneath the legs. Go ahead, shake everything out. Great. So we practice warrior one and warrior two. We're gonna combine them both to a reverse warrior. So we're going over the warriors today, building some strength. Let's open up those feet. Take those right toes, turn them out. So this is, we start with the warrior two. Hip bones facing the chair. And then bend that right knee. We'll float those arms up whenever you're ready, looking past the middle finger of your right hand. So now we're gonna add the back bend part of our warrior one. So we're gonna drop our left hand down the left leg, flip the right palm up, and we're going to inhale, eyes follow that hand, and we're going to reach the hand right up to the sky. Remember, if you feel off balance, hang on to the chair. It's only three breaths. This is our reverse warrior. On your next inhale, bring those arms back to that T position. Let's straighten that right leg, turn it forward, drop the arms. Walk the feet in, give everything a nice shake, and notice the difference. Come back to the breath. Open the feet nice and wide. Left toes point out. Bend that left knee right in line with the ankle. Second toe. When you're ready, float those arms up. Gaze goes past the middle finger of the left hand. We're going to flip. Flip that left palm up, drop the right hand down. When you're ready, you're gonna inhale, bring those fingertips up towards the sky. Gaze goes past those fingertips for three breaths. Nice gentle back bend here. And then on an inhale, we bring those arms back to the T position. Straighten the leg. Float the arms down, toe goes forward, walk the feet in. I have another warrior for you. It's a balance warrior. I want to set us up with airplane. So, kind of the same thing. So let's get to our silver sneakers down dog through a sun salutation. Hands can begin in prayer. I'm going to inhale, drop the hands, lift up. 
Exhale the elbows in back pocket. Inhale those hands up. Exhale, fingertips to the chair. Inhale, lift those heels, chin, chest. Exhale, drop the heels. Walk the feet back. We got our three breaths of a nice stretch here. Working in three breaths. And as you exhale, inhale, pick up your face. The right foot steps forward. The left foot's gonna go flat. We get our shoulders over our hips. So now we're gonna challenge our balance simply by picking that back heel up off the ground. So now we lose a point of contact with the ground. So that creates a balance challenge just from that. All right, so we are in a crescent warrior. So if you wanna try it, let's leave the hand that's with the leg that's forward, right hand on the chair, left hand goes up, lift up. So that's your one arm crescent warrior. If you want to try the challenge of balance, circle that other arm up. Remember, drop the heel, grab the chair. So that begins our balance sequence, crescent warrior. Now hands on the chair. I want you to take off. Float that back leg up. Look down at your chair. Try to peel your chest apart. This is our airplane. Let's go one arm airplane. Bring your right hand behind your back. Palm to the left. You got your chair to lean into if you need to. If you want to try it, left arm out, palms together. So this is our airplane. Chair is here. So airplane arms are close to your body. You want to try it harder. <laughs> Reach those hands out. Chair is there. Shouldn't even try this with a camera rolling. All right, guys, if you want to try a warrior three, you're going to bring your arms forward. Extend your foot back. So that's your challenge today. Hang on to the chair. That's still a challenge balancing on one leg. However, you have those arms. Hands on the chair. Pick this knee up. Shake out that leg. Set it down, now take the standing leg, give it a nice shake. Good, stand and close your eyes. Notice the difference. Notice by challenging yourself, you got your heart rate to increase. I want you to calm yourself down with your breath. That is your training for stress in your life. Stress is happening around you, you can calm yourself down. Three more breaths. And I want you to find your hands right in front of your heart. We're going to begin. Inhale, drop and lift. Exhale, elbows in back pocket. Inhale, reach those hands up. Exhale, fingertips to the chair. Inhale, lift chin, chest, and heels. Exhale, drop the heels. Chest stays lifted. Walk it back. Three breaths in our downward dog. Bend those knees. Protect those hamstrings. Inhale, pick up your face. Exhale, bring that left foot forward. Put your right heel flat. Find your balance. Hands on the chair. And challenge yourself by taking your hands off the chair. Shoulders go right over the hips. So remember, a balance challenge is just leaving one point of contact on the floor by spinning that right heel to the sky. We're now in our crescent warrior. So here's your first balance challenge. Letting go of the chair, or one hand on the chair, one hand up. This is our crescent warrior. If you're wobbling and can't breathe, you don't progress. It's only three breaths. Good job. We circle our hands to the chair. We're going to take off now, step forward. All the weight goes over that left leg. Lift that right leg high using that glute. And we come to our modified airplane, hands on the chair. One arm back, left arm back. We did the right arm first. And then the right arm back. Modified airplane. The closer your hands are to your body, the easier it is. So you can grab your hands. To make it more challenging, arms reach wide. To make it even more challenging, 
Arms reach forward and you go completely parallel to the ground. And then inhale, like plant that leg down. Good. Let's just step back and stretch in downward dog. Bend those knees, protect those hamstrings. You can play with straightening your legs, but if you're feeling a burning in the back of the knee or your butt cheek, bend those legs even more. So that was pretty challenging, that balance. Let's inhale, pick up the face, exhale, step on forward. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and just find our standing mountain. Calm our breath down, right, for three breaths. Take your hands off the chair, palms forward. Close your eyes if you'd like. As soon as you feel yourself starting to wobble, I want you to lift your pelvic floor up. Pull that pubic bone in. Recognize how those energetic blocks root you in, yet lift you right up. Feel the breath calm yourself down, heart rate come back to normal after all that challenging balance, and go ahead and have a seat. We're gonna turn our palms flat onto our lap. We're gonna pin the palms down onto our lap, and we're gonna inhale, bring those fingertips high to the sky. Stretch them out. Exhale, lower those fingertips down. <coughs> inhale, lift the fingertips. Exhale, lower them down. Let's do the same thing with the feet. Pin those feet down and just pull those toes off the ground. Spread them apart. Keep the balls of the feet down and exhale, lower the toes. It's not easy. Let's do hands and feet together. So our mind is going directly to our hands and our feet after our meditation. So we're slowing everything down when we meditate. We want to get the circulation, our, our brain, Back to connecting to these limbs. Blood circulating to the limbs. So now we're gonna, just like how we started class, let's go ahead and pick up that right foot. If its leg gets heavy, engage those bandhas and rotate your ankle. Let's go clockwise and then counterclockwise. Flex and point three more times. Good. Point the toe, drop the foot. Left leg goes up. Good. Point the toe, circle. Clockwise. Good. Counterclockwise. Excellent. Let's point and flex just a few more times. Perfect. That's how we started. All right. Go ahead, lower down, sit back. How do you feel? Go ahead, check in. Hopefully, you're feeling great. So, as we end our yoga class, we end with the word namaste. It can be repeated back to me. The word means, actually I have a definition of it, in my box so I don't mess it up. Oh, I thought I had it. I do. Okay. The word namaste, it means... I honor the place in you in which the entire universe dwells. I honor the place in you which is of love, of truth, of light, and of peace. When you are in that place in you, and I am in that place in me, we become one. So you bring your hands together in prayer. You bring your thumbs to your chest, fingertips to your chin, chin towards your fingertips, and you bow. Namaste. You take your thumbs and you touch your area of higher wisdom right there. I hope you guys have a really great day. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching.